Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You should be freaking terrified of this video. Hey, I don't know where my cameramen are. They're they're constantly following me around, but I I just I gotta I gotta adjust my own camera when I come into the studio. Uh <clears throat> I mean you can you can call my message a delusion if you want to. And I can literally call those other guys straight fear porn. Even when I watch them, I get this feeling like, wait a minute. Uh, 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 <clears throat> it's like an instant disgust in my stomach because I'm looking at flat out liars and they're liars and they're also um, unbelievers. And then they talk about Jesus Christ and God. And then, you know, click below down here to get a bug out box to for the end of the world that gives you like six months worth of packed packed food, you know. Like yeah, that I mean when the elite are flicking their switch, you don't have six months to like just you know, just hang out and kind of do your own thing and not get rounded up and drug into a FEMA camp or anything. Not at all. You can just you can just live your life and go about your business with your with your bug out box. But I tell you, man, I, as much faith as I believe I have, when I watch <clears throat> Mr. AMTV and when I listen to Richie's from Boston. And I just hear this, I hear what the elite are telling us because I just, I can hear, I can hear a, a mouthpiece with somebody else's words behind it. Kind of like how, kind of like how the, the people that um, pretended that they didn't work for Steve, you could tell that their words are coming, that his words are coming through their mouth. It's, qu it's quite simple to understand. <clears throat> So I get this uh, this feeling of it's almost like an instant shot of doubt. That's what they put inside of you immediately. If anything else, if you don't get disgusted or if you don't get fearful of it, you at least have a shot of doubt. They try to give you reasonable doubt to believe in Christ. That that's what they're doing. Their job is to push reasonable doubt. To get the jury to say, uh, no, nah, there's no Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't. I, I doubt it. I mean, I doubt that that God's gonna step in and lay His hand on people and like shut them up and shut the lion's mouth. So that's why, to an extent, I, I kind of get sick. Um, but I know I have to. I have to keep up periodically. I would I would hate to have your guys' jobs. I really would. To have to watch somebody that you just can't stand. Or that you just don't believe in it. It makes you sick because you they're saying all kinds of stuff and you just don't believe it. And you and you're but you're paid to watch and you have to and it's your job. Just trying to think that You know, Steve pushes this superhero thing, right? Don't you, Steve? You push this superhero, Superman, um, Batman, uh, X-Men, uh, you wait until I transfigure, Robin. So you're pushing that. And I know whatever you're pushing is, it's something that's going to happen. And I've learned that before about when I would come up with specific dates and you'll be like, and nothing's gonna happen. It's like you have the script right there, like, hold on, I'm gonna check the date. <laughs> no, Robin, and not gonna have relaxed people, all right? All you fruitcakes, 
there's no harpazo and <clears throat> so what you are pushing is you will transfigure you will transfigure the only question is on what specific date will you transfigure so I have a couple dates in mind now to transfigure what has to happen to here's the thing when you think about what Steve's going to do in the, in the uh, underground media you have to realize what Trump is going to do in the mainstream media because it's like a mirror image Trump, Steve, same person just uh, <clears throat> different roles so what does it mean that when you transfigure are we going to hear that somebody killed you is that what we're going to hear on the news and then three days later you, you pop up and you transfigure into some X-Man superpower hero guy like Jesus Christ <laughs> I mean no matter what, it's like this. Even if I didn't ever meet you, Steve, I had no clue who you were. And um, and then I'm sitting back one day and all of a sudden the TV pops on and, and they start saying that this guy died and, <clears throat> and then he rose three days later. I would instantly say, yeah, okay, here we go. Well, here we are. We are that close. And... Um, and I would be laughing at it, like, get the fuck, what, are you really trying to push that? But look, the news is so ridiculous that uh, when you see, like, when they have, like, the turbines pretending that there's this major, major hurricane, and then it shows a stop sign spinning in circles that's literally impossible because... The only way a stop sign can spin is if there's like a, a ball bearings on it and it just spins around like this. Because every stop sign has a, uh, well they have, they have nuts and bolts. At least two of them in the back. You know, like 13 millimeter, half inch, most likely. They're tightened beyond tightness. And the, the only thing you can do is like, Move, the, move back and forth like that. But no, when it spins, well, the bottom, it doesn't spin in the concrete and stay still. If it was spinning, it would have flew the frick away. So, these are the things that the media pushes that gets, you know, gullible people to believe it. And I'm just not one of them. I pick out those little details and, and I, and then I, put the magnifying glass right on it to show the entire whoever's watching my channel the truth of something that you might have missed a slight little detail <clears throat> because who thinks who who thinks that way who thinks of who looks at the stop sign like huh? no 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 wait they don't spit I mean I guess doesn't everybody shouldn't everybody is what I'm saying like you look at the stop sign like that thing's spinning around. Well, it can't spin around because it's in the concrete and it's bolted to the iron beam. That doesn't make sense. Hold on, let me slow that down. And then when you slow it down, you see it like spinning around. So anyway, that's how ridiculous it's going to be when Steve transfigures. And um, so all these things that I say is, well, they're going to happen. It's just the only question, the only thing that Steve can possibly try to get me on is well no Rob no nah, it didn't happen on that day it happened a week later I transfigured a week later see you're wrong again liar like yeah I, I, I'm a liar because I have a a uh, an opinion a belief and I put it out there and if it doesn't come true and pass by well then it's an opinion that was cold and then the ones that do pass by that are hot, well, you tend not to get credit for those type of predictions because, you know, you don't, you're not supposed to. 
So all I do is think, okay, when will these things happen? So what's going to happen to Trump when Steve transfigures? Because Trump, it's like the same thing. Here's something I did think about. Because I had seen that Super Bowl movie, uh, commercial where the guy walks through the door and he's like, what dimension are you in? And is it a lie? And, and then he go, opens the door and walks through and, and then there's nothing. You don't see him anymore. And the point of the commercial was and the guy's like sitting in a stadium is uh, there's going to be a person that's everywhere and nowhere at all. Okay? A person that's everywhere and nowhere at all. Like you're not seen, but you're everywhere. And and you're going to have a, a lot. It's something like where you're going to have a a lot of answers for people. So I'm thinking of that. Well, that fits Steve with the character because he is pretending to be Christ, which means he's everywhere and and nowhere to be seen, but yet he's ever, you know, he's like omniscient and omnipotent. And then on top of that, not only is that the role of Christ, but the, it's the role of the head surveillance guy too, because you know, you know exactly where uh, everybody is. You know exactly what everybody's saying. Anybody that you want to focus on, you know exactly where they are. You know, you know what they're talking about. You know what they're thinking about as they're driving in their vehicles and they're just talking to themselves. You know their deepest thoughts because, let's face it, when people have like really good thoughts, they like to talk it out loud. And that's something that you know. So that means, to me, somebody is going to rise up who is unknown to the world, you know, the mainstream media, unknown to the world, but very well known to the elite underground, the most famous people in the world, that person is famous to them. So that's the that's the, the criteria for being that person. You have to be well known by the elite and by famous people, and um, but not known to the actual general public, but known underground. So the underground person's going to rise up, and uh, and they're going to start teaching people, and it damn sure sounds like. A perfect fit for Steve to transfigure, uh, pop into the mainstream media, because, like I was saying yesterday, your your ego can only handle being being famous to the famous people for so long. You have to finish the role before everything starts. You want to be famous to the entire world, which means. Which means uh, you will then hit the rankings of of Trump famous, Trump fame. Even though you're already that famous to Trump and everybody else that knows you, because you are the shit. When you walk in, you're you are the king of kings, and you know everybody's you know, kisses your ass about it, except for like a couple people in the world, and. Uh, so that fame that you have now is the same as Trump's minus the fame of the world. So the world will know who you are once you transfigure. Now, I'm seeing that as, I can't see that as a, I just can't see that as a three-day period. I see that as more of a, <clears throat> more of a 40-day period, like, like from, like from three two two to to five one. <clears throat> from three three from three two two 
from the skull and bones to the Illuminati's birthday, I can see it happening then. I can. Uh, <clears throat> and then, and then you, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe you ascend somehow or something. And then once you ascend, or, or, hmm, man, it's, I'm still, still trying to, still trying to iron out the details of your script because it's like what has to happen first your dead body laying in the street for three and a half days and then after three and a half days great fear falls upon everybody and, and then the great earthquake happens well then you that means beforehand you're preaching and teaching the world and then you know the script is somebody gets tired of you and they, and they kill you and uh I don't know, I mean, like, you and Michael, apparently. Like, the, the guy that lives by, down by the river in a van. <clears throat> Maybe he's going to pop back up. And, but see, from 322 on, we can't possibly be on YouTube. And if, well, if we are, <laughs> if we are, we're going to get struck down immediately with whatever we say. Because you can't have us on there. Be like, yo, I know that's Steve freaking James, man. And then because of the because of the technology that you guys have, and you can literally make somebody look. Look, this is what it is. You know the X Men movies. And you know all the all the. You know the, the glass movie with the being like superhero on the ground. This is really going to come to real life. In real life, we'll be able to see it. Like, even if Steve is on the corner, standing right over there, and he decides to abracadabraly shoot a bolt of lightning into a, a wall, well, the technology is, you have it, the timing down packed. As soon as he goes like this, you know, you know to shoot that beam right over there into the wall. And make some kind of crashing sound uh, <clears throat> or even uh, you know like a firecracker over there and you make it a, you know just like the movies but in real life because that's why everything is practiced to be live that's why YouTube started the live feeds why Facebook Facebook live because everything's everything's gonna be live that's why the football players they know what the score needs to be. They know exactly how many points they need to score. And um, and they know each other's plays. And they have to perform it live. And that's the best part about it. Is you perform it live. Just like WWF Wrestling. In the beginning of it. Well, same, the WE, whatever it is. You got to perform it live. You know who's going to win. You know the moves. You know the last move. And, uh, and you have to do it live. Yeah, you get hurt. It's still real. You still can get hurt with, you know, get slammed and everything, but <clears throat> that's just all, all an act. So what other better way to do that, to play that X, X, uh, Xbox, uh, same thing, X band live in real life. Even if it ain't in real life, and it, even if it ain't live and you don't really see Steve over there, but you see on the TV these miracle signs and wonders that this guy appeared out of nowhere uh, claiming to be Jesus. And, um, well, no, no, he's not going to say he's Jesus. He's going to make everybody else say that. Claiming to be, you know, the first, the last Adam and everything. He's going to have that, that claiming right. And then he's going to make fire come down from heaven in the sight of men to deceive. Yes. See... There was a point where I believed, before I knew Steve, I believed, no, all this is spiritual. You're not literally going to see one person appear and be like, I'm the Antichrist, biatch! And I said that quite a few times, I just didn't believe that. And then now, now I do, because, yes, I can see that, because of the script that I've been unraveling for that 150-day period of Trump's from uh, December 21st of 2018, which ends on May 20th, 2019, 
exactly 150 days of his 150 miles of wool because of that now yeah I, I literally can see everything being played out literally on TV in the mainstream media yep so now I've changed where all right it's gonna happen <clears throat> spiritually but at the same time it's gonna happen literally because they're playing out the Bible and as they play out the Bible they realize hmm well well wait a minute <clears throat> You know, Robin, Robin has been, all, you know, lying aside, Robin has, guys, listen, Robin, he has been telling us what we're doing before we do it. And we know that he's just a regular person walking planet Earth who's kind of telling us what we're doing, which, you know, I can't help, I can't help but to think you know, he's literally telling us what our dreams are, like not the way as we're sleeping dreams, but the aspirations and dreams of ruling the world and how we're going to do it. And we're not even telling him what our dreams are, but he's telling us what our dreams are. And then on top of that, he's telling us when we're going to do it. Where he's telling us what song we're going to sing, he's telling us the, the script we're going to play out. And I can't help but to just think. That's the same thing that Daniel did when it came to King old Nebuchadnezzar, King Cyrus, and he even prospered in the same year as, as Steve's first year and Trump's third year in the reign of both of them. So, you know, say what you want about it, but I can't help but to think of that particular person when it comes to us. And then, um, and then it's like the same thing with Joseph, where he was being sold. He got, he told his brothers he had a dream. He's like, "Look, you guys are going to be worshiping my feet, and I, you know, I mean, I'm going to be in charge." I don't know what to tell you besides that. And then they, and then they, they make a, a freaking trade deal with China, and then they, they go and sell him and traffic him off to China. And um, and then afterwards he comes back and he's like. He's like the head guy, you know, um, the, the ruler of the province and um, of Egypt. When, as he got sold to Egypt, he became the ruler, you know, one one notch under King Pharaoh. So as they're playing this out, look, this is what they're seeing. This is what they are saying to themselves, not to us. They don't have to say it to me. I already, I already feel it. I already sense what I'm doing. And I can't help but to think, you know, when I read the Bible, I can't help but to think that Steve is playing out the King of Kings, Lord of Lord role. I can't help but to see also how he's playing out that fierce king that rises up that knows dark sentences in the end and causes all those people to worship him, uh, you know, because he'll be the second beast rising up from the sea of people and um and then then at first beast a deadly wound was healed or whatever maybe trump will get shot and his wound will be healed but the other beast will pop up which is steve but at the same time uh obama's gonna pop up because obama's look obama is literally playing the antichrist and <clears throat> nobody is really Nobody's really claiming the Jesus Christ role in the mainstream media. But I know Steve is claiming that role in, a, in a, the underground media. And even Jerusalem, they, they said, according to what I heard, that they're building this, uh, you know, this temple for the Messiah. That's, that's, it's like they're saying he's already on earth, but they haven't, he hasn't made himself known yet. Man, I'm telling you, they are talking about Steve. So that's in play. Trump and Netanyahu are, are playing the role of the two witnesses, I believe, so far. And Obama's playing the role of the Antichrist. But Steve is the one 
that that Super Bowl commercial was about. The guy that's nowhere and everywhere, and 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 pretty soon he's going to stand up, and he's all of a sudden the entire world's going to know this person that was nowhere and everywhere. So now it's about it's just about well when 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 is that going to happen? What date? Well, pray that your flight isn't in the winter or on the Sabbath. 322. There's a strong likelihood that Steve will transfigure somehow and start preaching for the next 40 days as as we get kicked off of YouTube. And um and then come May 1st, which is the Illuminati's birthday, which is the day that Osama bin Laden was the script was that he got kicked off to the fish. And back in 1940, I don't know, whatever, Adolf Hitler, he was pronounced dead on May 1st. So you have May 1st coming up with the next president of Trump. And, uh, well, hey, Steve could transfigure on May 1st for the next 21 days. And then Obama takes over. Because maybe Steve will get killed uh, in that script too, or something. No, how he can't because he's going to be Superman. Hmm. No, I think Steve's going to continue on. That's what it is. In the end, Steve is going to reign, going in long term, but it will only last for three and a half days. I don't know. I still have to think about it, but just know that Obama will rise back up because. Look, Steve Fletcher has him pegged as uh, the Antichrist. And uh, so he definitely, you know, I mean, come on. He definitely has to continue to play that out and uh, become the Antichrist. And Trump is playing the, play, he's playing a good role of being the Messiah right now. But Steve is playing the best role as Jesus Christ that I know of. Maybe it's just because I know him. Like, maybe that's why. So I'm just trying to figure out the script. Like always. Because that's what it is. It's a script. Everybody has a role that they're playing. And the elite, they are patient with, with their role. They've, they've, been, they've had it in, for many generations now. And this is the year, you know, this is the year. The next couple months is the months. It's when everything that they have practiced will finally happen. The only thing they didn't practice was what they're going to do in those last seven days. When this thing here, when that thing there disappears and then goes away for a few days and then something something tremendous happens to the elite that I I still I mean I there was a time where I I didn't I had no clue what God was gonna do I just knew he was gonna do something I couldn't figure it out and I said I just don't know then I started to realize that it has a lot more to do with it's going to be well yeah the, the darkness the whole reason for making this sun and covering the sky is so in the end they can make that sun travel in the other direction at will and play God and get people to believe that that's God doing that when it's not. It's them. So that's the entire reason why the skies are covered up was to get that sun to go in the other direction on that day uh, when they when they start to uh, you know like transfigure. So there's that.